Hey everybody, I'm Michael and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you what to do if you decided to install MetaMask on a different computer or device and you go to log into your account and it doesn't show anything. You're probably thinking, are my funds lost? Are they stolen? What happened to them? They are fine. I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to get those funds to show up in your new MetaMask account or wallet on a different device. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I have two different windows open right here, and that is so that I can connect and add another network to MetaMask. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm over here on this side, I'm gonna type in connect avalanche to MetaMask so that I can get the network information. Click on that very first link, and I'm gonna scroll down here to get this information here. So now I'm gonna come back to this other window, click on MetaMask, and up at the very top where it says Ethereum mainnet, I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna come down here and click add network. Now the way MetaMask used to work was it used to keep this window or this browser extension open the whole entire time that you're doing it, but it looks like they've switched it out a little bit so that you don't have to open up two different browser windows. So I'm just, so you don't have to do this this way, but just know this is what you would do if you wanted to add the Avalanche network to your MetaMask account. Click that, save, and now we should have the Avalanche and the Ethereum mainnet, perfect. So which one do we wanna do first? Let's go ahead and connect and, and do the Ethereum mainnet. And right up here, we are going to click on our profile icon and click import account. Now here's where we will need to type in the private key that we received when we originally created our MetaMask account. If you don't have a private key, there isn't this option to import a JSON file, but I don't have that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as private key. Now I pulled up this article on how to export an account private key because that is what is being asked for here. I'll put a link down below of how you can find your private key, but essentially all you do is you go into the account that you had and you will click on the account. You'll click on, on the three little dots right up here then you'll click on account details and then click on export private key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now on my other computer and then I'm going to paste it in to this private key string here. Now that I've copied it from my other computer, I'm gonna go ahead and click on paste and then click on import. If you don't have access to your private key for some reason, I would highly recommend reaching out to the MetaMask support by clicking on your profile icon, clicking on support, it'll open up this new tab and you'll be able to find answers here. But as you can see, we've got our Ethereum now in our account. Now on my other account, I also had some other tokens like OHM, WSOHM, DAI, and UST. So to find where to get those tokens back, they are in our account, but all we have to do is import them. So my favorite place is to visit a site like CoinGecko. In the search bar, I'm going to type OHM, and this is the Olympus DAO token. Make sure you are clicking on the correct one because I know that there are a lot of scams out there. And as you can see right down here, we have staked Olympus SOHM, but we also have safe OHM. Make sure that if you are clicking on any of the ones that they are the correct ones. And in this case, this is the staked OHM. This is the WSOHM. And in, right now we're gonna be doing OHM. So we're gonna click on that. And on the right hand side, we can see this contract address. We're going to click to copy that, head back to MetaMask, and then we are going to come down here and click on import tokens. And instead of searching, I'm gonna come up here and click on custom token, and I'm going to paste in that contract address. It'll pop in with the symbol, token decimal place, and click add custom token and import. Now, if we head back to our main page, you can see I have now my Ethereum and my OHM. Let's do the same for SOHM. So I'm going to import that as well. Coming back to CoinGecko, I'm gonna type SOHM. And instead of clicking this one, which is not the one I want, I wanna click on the staked Olympus or SOHM. So you always wanna make sure that you are clicking the correct one. If you send it to the wrong address, there is nothing I can do for you. Just know that if you did go to SOHM, it's linked to the correct OHM and WSOHM. But for this one, we are gonna come over here, click to copy this SOHM contract address, come back here, click on import tokens, custom token, paste in that contract address, 
SOHM will pop up, click Add Custom Token and Import Tokens. And now you can see on my homepage, all of the three that I have balances of are now back in my account. Now, if you were to come back to CoinGecko and type in WSOHM because you're like, oh wait, yeah, I bought some of this, but I need to add it to my account. And you, okay, this is the right one. You come over here and you click to copy. You don't see this little icon saying that it's on the Avalanche network. You think it's on the Ethereum network. Well, if you come back here, you're like, oh, I need to add that back in. You click import tokens, custom token, and you paste in this contract address here. And it says any HOD, well, that's not what you're supposed. That's not what it's supposed to say. Why is it doing that? So if you were to add the custom token like this, it's not going to show a balance because this is not the correct place to add it. It's not on the Ethereum network. It's actually on the Avalanche network. So for WSOHM or Time or Memo, you have to select the Avalanche network and then come back down here to click on Import Custom Tokens. Here you can see now WSOHM is in our account. We're going to click Add Custom Token and Import Token. So now we've got AVAX and WSOHM. So let's do it on one more. Let's do it on Memo. So you won't see Memo here, and there's a reason for that. It's because it's not actually supported in CoinGecko. So instead, we are going to be adding Wonderland Time because when we staked our time, we earned some Memo tokens. So let's go ahead and click on Wonderland Time and we'll make sure that it's the correct one. Looks good to me. It's on the Avalanche Network. We're gonna to click to copy. Then we're gonna head back to MetaMask. Make sure we are on the Avalanche Network. Click on Import Tokens and paste in that contract address and time will show up just like that. Now, we don't have any time in our balance, but we do have some memo. So how do we actually get that? Well, let's go to a site called Wonderland Money, and we are going to click on Enter App. Now, this will only work if you have staked some time and you did start earning some memo tokens. If you did do that and you don't see your memo balance in your MetaMask account, what do you do? Well, on this Wonderland Money site, you can come up here and hover over time, and then you can actually add the memo token this way. So let's go ahead and click on Memo. MetaMask will pop up and we're going to import this token or add this token to our MetaMask account. So now when we go back to our MetaMask account, you can see that we have the memo token and that's all there is to it. That's how you connect tokens back in after you've moved from one computer to another. If you wanna check your balance, you can come up here and click on to connect your wallet, click on MetaMask, MetaMask will pop up making sure that you're on the correct network, which is Avalanche, click on Next, click on Connect, and MetaMask will go away, and this will show you your staked memo tokens, how many memo tokens you're gonna be getting in the next rebase, which is in three hours and 19 minutes, and everything like that, and, and there you go. It's really that simple. If you didn't have access to the Time Wonderland on CoinGecko and you weren't able to copy this address, you can always go to wonderland.money, hover over time, and then click add time to your MetaMask wallet. And in doing that, you can see that I already have time, so it'll override it. I'm gonna click cancel, but that's how you could also do it if you didn't wanna to go to CoinGecko. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this was a clear step-by-step -step process. You did find value in this. And if you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.